you know, optical disc has been very popular for the last 25 years, and it has some advantages. It's, uh, it's quite good sound. It's uncompressed music. Um, the user interface, however, is kind of clunky by today's standards. Um, but it is an archival format, meaning that when you have a compact disc, it lasts for a very long time. Um, the computer magnetic disc uh, is, uh, can be a good format, but it's really all over the place. Uh, you know, a lot of music that people have on their computer is uh, MP3 compressed or otherwise compressed. The user interface is kind of all over the place. And then, of course, we have the iPod with uh, solid state memory, which is very convenient, has a fantastic user interface, but limited storage, so you tend to only have compressed music on it. So the sound, again, can vary quite a bit. Um, but really, what we're coming into the era of now is the 2496 download, or the high-res download. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, I don't think we've quite settled on what we're going to call this. Um, we've chosen to call it 2496. The reason for that is that the Audio Engineering Society has adopted 24 bits, 96 kilohertz sampling rate as their recommended uh, standard for high definition music. Um, basically, what we end up with on 2496 is probably what I've been dreaming about as an audiophile for the last 35, 40 years, which is an exact copy of the Studio Master that you can have in your listening room. And that's basically what, what 2496 offers us, is that absolute best possible quality of, of recorded music. You know, our vision for the future is to have a product that uh, has the very best performance, 2496 sound quality, um, that has uh, also the convenience, that iPod user experience. So a user experience where it's... Uh, uh, very dynamic, very easy to select your music, listen to your music, uh, sort through your music. Um, we also want to have adaptability in this product so that we can go both to past formats and future formats, build in a capability where as future formats come about, we can actually integrate them into the existing product. And uh, what we're calling it is the NAD Digital Master's Digital Music Suite. Um, and it consists of uh, three products. The M2, which many of you are familiar with. Uh, we introduced that uh, a couple of years ago. And the M2 technology is actually the building block. It's the foundation of all of our next generation of products. It's a digital amplifier technology that has no analog circuitry whatsoever. The problem with the analog stage is we've, we've got them now so that they're very low in distortion, quite low in noise but still that noise and distortion cascades. The other thing is that you get time smearing, and I think uh, the most dramatic thing about our, our digital technology is you eliminate that time smear. So transients, both starting and stopping, are dramatically improved uh, compared to even the best of uh, analog technology. So the M2 has formed the basis, um, and you'll see several products today that are implementing this technology. Um, it's also a, uh, the signal data path in the M2 in this direct digital technology is 35 bits wide. So we've got the ability to fully resolve a 24-bit signal, plus we have extra bits left over, so we can do things like volume control without truncating bits. We can do filters, and uh, you'll see in these products how we've uh, uh, used this extra headroom to do some kind of interesting things. Um, the new source component we're calling M50. It's a digital music player, and I'll get into a little more detail on what that does. Uh, but basically, it's a digital interface that looks both backwards. You can uh, play a CD in it, but it also looks forward to streaming music and uh, doing uh, high-resolution uh, interface. And then we also have uh, an M52, and this is a, a hard disk array. Now, I mentioned earlier that the problem with hard disk is that it's not an archival format. Uh, as you know, most people have had some terrible experience where the hard drive drops dead and you lose everything. And uh, if you're buying high-res music, which in the States we've got pretty good uh, support for that now, but it costs, instead of 99 cents a track like on iTunes, it's $2.99 a track from HD track. So HD music is 
uh, a bit expensive if you purchase it. Uh, if you've gone through the trouble of uh, copying all your CDs and LPs into a, a hard drive, again, you know there's many, many hours of work involved in that. So what you want is a, is a format that you know is going to be uh, archival, that you're not going to lose your information. And so that's what we've done with the M52. This is an enterprise uh, level uh, backup system, and I'll, I'll get into a little more detail on that as well.